Hey there, it's J-Dog. Hey, in my travels, I take a lot of pictures and I've been shooting a lot of videos uh, more recently. And I thought what I'd do in this video is to show you what I use for photography and video equipment uh, when I travel. You know, uh, one of the things I like about RVing is I get to see great places and go to very scenic spots in the country. And I like to capture what I see on with photography you know I want to remember those great places uh, or great scenic roads and so that's why I like to take pictures and to do video because I want to remember these things that I saw while I um, was RVing so let me show you the camera equipment okay so starting on the left I have a monopod which is used to hold the camera I have a selfie stick and then I have a uh, a little desktop a tripod. I have a little holder hand uh, thing to hold my uh, audio equipment. The next thing you see there uh, with the white button on it is a gimbal stabilizer. Okay in the front here I have an audio recorder and I'll talk about how I record the audio for my videos. Uh, then I have a little action camera you can see there and then right above the action camera I have my dash cam. And then I have a compact point and shoot uh, camera, a Sony. And then I have a, uh, for my stills, I have a Sony um, SLR mirrorless camera. So that's what we're going to talk about. I want to start showing you my uh, still photography equipment that I uh, showed you um, just previously. So this is a uh, Sony uh, Alpha 6000. It's a mirrorless uh, digital camera. It's, uh, it's a little dated. It's uh, probably a 2014 model. Sony came out with a two actual uh, newer models of this camera, the Alpha 6300 and the Alpha 6500. But I've been using this camera for the last uh, three years and I love it. Uh, I've, uh, all my still photos are taken with Sony equipment and I like the quality uh, of what they do. But this little mirrorless camera uh, has the same sensor size as a regular Canon uh, DSLR and it takes fantastic pictures. I'd use this camera for most of my still photography. Uh, this is my prime camera and I've got here, this lens I've got here is an 18 to 55 millimeter lens which I usually use for landscapes and outdoor photography. Uh, I will do a little bit of video with this uh, when I shoot music performances and I can set something up on a tripod and put the sound uh, equipment on it. But again, this is my primary still uh, camera. And uh, one of the other lenses I use with this camera is a uh, 55 to 210 telephoto uh, lens. Uh, what this lens does, it's uh, this autofocus that, that works with the camera. Uh, I love it for taking people shots. You could say, why do you use a telephoto lens? It's because I can get up close. I want to capture emotion on faces. And so I use this lens uh, when I'm really shooting people. Uh, my next still camera uh, is a compact point and shoot. This is kind of this is kind of my backup camera, but it's one I take with me when I'm going inside buildings. If I'm going to shoot uh, pictures inside, not outside, uh, I'll use this little camera. And this is a very powerful camera. This is a Sony RX100 Mark IV. Uh, again, it's a it's a little dated. It's probably three years old. Uh, Sony came out with, I take that back, it's only one revision behind. Uh, Sony came out with the Mark V. But this little camera is very powerful. Uh, it, uh, I'm just going to power it up here. It has an uh, electronic viewfinder, which I like to use. It's got a flash. Um, it's got a uh, three power zoom. And I shoot video with this camera also because it shoots uh, 4K video. Um, but this is kind of my all-around uh, small camera I can put in my pocket uh, when I want to go into a building and traveling someplace. I don't want to carry the heavy camera, uh, but it takes excellent pictures. And again, it's a Sony. That's why I've gone to Sony because the menus are all consistent between the cameras and the features are pretty much consistent. But the Sony RX100 is uh, one of the top of the line uh, point and shoot cameras that you can get out there. So this is kind of my backup fallback camera that I use. So I'm going to get into, and I'll, I'll show you one more thing, uh, cell phone. Uh, I do use my cell phone for uh, certain, uh, certain uh, pictures. Uh, if I don't have a camera with me or I'm kind of fumbling around, I will use my, 
my cell phone. I'll use it with the primarily if I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna put it and take a selfie. And this fits right on the selfie stick uh, so that you can uh, hold it and uh, get a good selfie. The other thing this, this camera does, an LG G4, is it's voice activated uh, commands. So I can hold it up and just say whiskey or smile and it'll take my picture. So it's actually pretty cool. So that's the still photography stuff. So now let's talk about video. I started doing video about, uh, I think it was 2012. And when I bought uh, actually the little uh, video recorder here that I'm recording this video with, the Canon Vixie uh, camcorder. And uh, I started using that in my travels just to kind of capture some scenes and some pretty places. I did some uh, driving videos with it, uh, but I recently stopped using it because uh, I actually have some stuff that's a lot better. So let me show you what I use. Uh, two or three years ago, I got a dash cam. And uh, these are kind of popular with RVers. Uh, with a dash cam, it just kind of, this little suction mount goes on the windshield. I got a power supply in the RV. And with the press of one little button here, this little silver button, boom, I can start the video or turn it off. It's right, it's right up by where my uh, rearview mirror would be in the RV. But uh, this little thing takes uh, high def, 1080p, 30 frame a second uh, video. It's got a nice wide angle lens. I think it's about 154 degrees. So when you go down the road and you see a beautiful scenic drive, or like you're driving along the Colorado River in Moab, uh, it's so great to be able to capture that with a dash cam. And I love doing uh, dash cam videos just to kind of capture what am I seeing uh, on this great drive uh, that I'm doing. So highly recommend a dash cam. Uh, like I say, this one's a little dated, but uh, you can get them on Amazon for under a hundred bucks. They're easy to install and uh, like I say, with a little video editing software, it's easy to get the uh, video off there and put it up or just save it uh, for how you'd uh, like to use it. So that's the dash cam. So here's my primary little camera that I use for making most videos these days. I just got this last year. This is a action cam. And the model is a Thi. It's a Thi T5E. Essentially, this is a GoPro type camera. Uh, this is a, a knockoff of a GoPro Hero 5 Black. So it's almost as good as GoPro's latest, uh, latest cam action cam. It shoots 4K high def video. Uh, I don't shoot in 4K just because it takes too much space. But uh, this little thing will shoot uh, and takes incredible videos. If you've seen some of my videos late in the past year, they've pretty much all been taken with this little action cam. And uh, it's got a 170 degree uh, field of view. So there's no problem with me getting in the camera. I know exactly that I'm always gonna be in, in the camera. Uh, and I like to be able to show, uh, you know, landscapes and what I'm seeing behind me. So that's why I like that wide angle um, for this little camera. And uh, I've got a, it'll all stored digitally and it's easy to get the videos off. I'm record, I record in MP4 format, uh, 1080p, 30 frames a second with this thing. But it can do actually double that. It can do 60 frames a second up to, uh, uh, you know, 2016 uh, uh, p so, but that's my primary little uh, vlogging camera. And I want to show you what I use it with here in a second, but I want to show you something else that I use on uh, for doing video. Um, there's one problem with these little action cameras. In fact, it, the problem with all the cameras is the microphone and the audio is not that great. In fact, it sucks, especially on this little thing. The audio is not good at all. So what I started doing after looking at some other bloggers is, is recording my audio separately. In fact, I'm doing it on this video. You can see I'm wearing a little lapel mic here and I got another audio recorder I use. Uh, but uh, I use this little thing when I'm doing video. Uh, this is a Zoom, let's see, H1. And uh, it fits in my pocket. It records either MP3 format or uh, WAV format. I call it recording WAV because it's, uh, I think it's a little better. But it's a little lapel mic that sticks on and you record your audio separately uh, when you're recording the video. And you actually, I get the, uh, when I record the video here, I turn the audio on, the microphone on. And so I've got two audio files, uh, one there, one here on the Zoom. And when I go to make the video, I put them together through my uh, video editing software. I can pick up the audio tracks from here 
and marry them. It's very easy to do. Most uh, video editors have a thing called sync audio. You just put the two tracks together, say sync them up, and it perfectly lines them up. But uh, audio is important because if you've ever seen on YouTube, there are some play times where people's audio really is terrible. You got wind noise and everything. But uh, once I went to a separate device for the audio, made a big difference. So that's what I use for audio. Okay, so let me show you what I use little action camera with. Hold on. Okay, so I've got my little CI action camera mounted on my motorized gimbal. This little thing, uh, it's a uh, it's battery operated. It's got three mo it's got motors and it's a three axle gimbal. And what it does, as you can see as I move my hand, it keeps that camera totally level uh, throughout the video. And it makes for a very smooth video. So it's very easy when I'm doing when I'm doing my uh, YouTube videos, you can see I'm holding the camera like this. If I'm, my hand's shaking or something, you don't see any of that shake. It just keeps it perfectly level. And it makes when you go to pan and go across, that mo makes a nice smooth motion, no jerkiness that would come in my hand. So this is really, uh, it's a Feiyu Tech uh, G4 QD, I think, uh, because it doesn't have the mount for the uh, GoPro. It's got a mount uh, for a generic action cam. Cost the uh, little gimbal here, just FYI, a little gimbal cost. Um, about 180 bucks on Amazon and my action cam just I didn't mention that uh, you know the GoPro Hero 5 is probably close to 500 bucks this little knockoff which is just as good costs about 180 bucks on Amazon so that's uh, this little thing so the last thing I'm going to show you is this little uh, holder little mount thing that I bought recently this allows you it's got a little um, threaded thing that goes into the tripod mount of pretty much any camera. It allows you really to hold the camera out like this uh, if you wanted to. When I was, I, I use it on uh, my little compact Sony. It'll fit right on the bottom here and I can use, and I use this for, for a video. I do it again. It eliminates kind of camera shake um, when you do that. But I really use this for audio. Now I mentioned I was doing another audio recorder. I have a um, a Zoom H4n Pro. This is a very nice audio recorder. I use this recorder. In fact, I'm, I'm recording the, vid the audio for this video on this uh, so you could see the other one. But this is, it's a little bigger. It's a little um, tough to haul lug around. But I use this to uh, record uh, audio for music performances. I actually hold it like this. I can put a wind muff on it. I actually can actually mount this on top of my camera. So I've got my camera set up and I'm recording a music performance. Uh, it's a, a real nice little accessory to have. These are pretty cheap on Amazon, 10 bucks, 12 bucks to get them, but it's definitely worth it if you're really into video or, or taking pictures, you need something to hold your, your camera, uh, well worth it. So that's my camera equipment, my video equipment. You know, it's kind of a little bit uh, ironic in that uh, this stuff uh, is all two to three years old and uh, I wasn't shooting uh, before that. I was shooting with really just one little point and shoot camera and now I'm up to all this stuff. But uh, I'm sure in a couple years it's all gonna change. It'll probably be videoing right out of the, the temples of my uh, sunglasses here or have something in my cowboy hat that'll uh, do it all for me. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions about the stuff I use or how I do it, uh, please uh, give me a comment on the video. Uh, also, uh, if you look at my, uh, I'll have this all this stuff listed in the kind of the notes of the video. Uh, so if you kind of want to see, press on the show more, I'll have links to all this stuff. If you want to look it up and see where it is, uh, you can uh, do that. But hope you enjoyed it. See you on down the road.